Hello students, welcome to Affairs Cloud. My name is Vikas. We have an app by the name Careers Cloud which you can go and download through Play Store. Once you have downloaded the application, you will be able to easily log in using your Gmail ID. Once you have logged in, you will be redirected to this page where you will be getting this UI and there will be option for home, all courses, my courses and doubt section. On this application, you will be getting multiple PDFs, multiple content on daily basis that will be enhancing your learning. Our first segment is daily current affairs. We make sure to provide you current affairs on daily basis in both English as well as in Hindi content. The PDFs for the same are uploaded on our application. And apart from this, we also make sure to provide you with quizzes that will help you to revise the content after you have gone through the PDF. Next comes our weekly content. The content is also provided in both English as well as in Hindi. And here we also make sure to provide you quiz also of that past week's current affairs that will be enhancing your learning as it is a compilation of the important topics, important MCQ questions for the last week. Similar for the monthly, the PDFs are very important. They provide you insights of various topics as well as we also make sure to provide you the quiz of monthly questions that are very important for learning. Next, we also provide you with important PIB articles on daily basis so that you can go through these particles and have an insight about that particular topic. Not just this, we also make sure to provide you important events that are happening globally and make sure to give you the right analysis. One of the most important segment of our application is that we make sure to provide you with the correct exam analysis. When you are having exam, we make sure to provide you with the previous year questions so that the student can go through the exam pattern and the syllabus and can prepare the exam accordingly based on the pattern. After the exam, we also make sure to provide you with the exam analysis. Then for the students who are preparing for state exams, they will be also beneficial here as we will make sure to provide with state wise current affairs for them. Apart from this, we also make sure to cover the topic wise current affairs such as your national affairs, government schemes, international affairs, banking and finance, economy and businesses as these are the topics from which the examiner definitely asks the question and these are covered on the monthly basis. So friends, do check our application. It will be a one stop solution for learning. Apart from this friends, Carrier Scout is hiring. We are looking for candidates for subject matter experts in quants reasoning and English and also we are looking for a content creator for current affairs topic on daily basis, weekly basis and monthly basis. There is also an opening for a person who can translate the English content into Hindi. If you want to apply, you can scan the code here for further details or you can go to the description and click the link below. These positions are available both in full time and freelance for serious candidates. Hello everyone. So in this video, we will be discussing important current affairs for 20th of April. Session will be quite interesting and important. So do pay attention till the end. Let's start. First question is how many new archaeological sites have been discovered in Telangana state? Question can be asked that in which state recently new archaeological sites have been discovered. So in Telangana. So a total of three archaeological sites have been discovered in Telangana. What are these archaeological sites? These are the sites that contains the remain of our ancient civilization. Then recently remember UP got the GI tag and the total number of GI tags in UP is 75 and UP became the state with the highest GI tags in India that is 75. Some of the tag here is Banaras Lal Peda. Banaras Lal Peda. This is a sweet dish. Then Banaras Lal mural painting. Then apart from this, John Puri Imarti. John Puri Imarti. Similarly, remember in the month of April, a total of 19 products got GI tag from the state of Assam. Some of the products here is Assamese Dhol that got GI tag, Japi, then Pani Matka craft, right? So these are the products that got the GI tag from Assam and 635 is the total number, total number of GI tags that got the GI tag or the total number of products that got the GI tag in India. So this question can be asked and this is from 31st of March was last updated on 31st of March 2024. So a total of 635 products have GI tags in India. 
right here you can see three new archaeological sites were discovered in the state of telangana and a team of archaeological archaeologists have discovered a unique iron age megalithic site in oraguta near bandla village in ss tadwai mandal of mulugu district of telangana and if we talk about this unique iron age megalithic site you can see here if we talk about this iron age megalithic site these new sites have a new type of monuments which were not discovered anywhere in other regions of india and new archaeological sites discovered at oraguta has unique features which are in contrary to the usual types of the megalithic monuments known as the dolomenoid cyst found in this region next important question take a note of it india along with which country signed an agreement to operate large research hub in new delhi so india along with which country has signed this agreement to operate this large research hub in new delhi it is russia take a note of this right important correct and here you can see that hse university known as your national research university of higher school of economics that is a public research university in st petersburg russia and the university of delhi that is also known as delhi university they both have recently signed an agreement and under this agreement large research hub will be operating at the delhi university in new delhi that is hse university that is in st petersburg russia and from india it is delhi university these two organization together have signed an agreement where they will be operating this large research hub and where this will be it will be at delhi university in new delhi the agreement for this was signed during indo russian education summit and this education summit was held where in new delhi location is important and in new delhi too it was from 11 to 13th of april then apart from this we know that recently there has been a war started between iran and israel right if we talk about iron dome system c dome and iron dome system they are of which country they are of israel and they are the system which helps them to protect from the incoming missiles and drone attacks then then if we talk about iran remember iran have fired multiple missiles towards israel right some of the missiles they fired were fateh gadar and sejil these are the missiles that were fired by iran towards israel then if we talk about saudi arabia remember world tennis association this final of this wta will be held in saudi arabia correct from 2024 till 2026 so the three edition that is from 2024 2024 2024 and 2025 and 2026 so 24 25 and 26 their final will be held where in saudi arabia take a note of it right and india along with russia they have signed an agreement to operate large research hub in the state of or uh, in the union territory delhi right take a note of this and from russia what was it it was your hsc university and from india it is du university and they have signed this agreement where they will be operating this large research hub in new delhi next if we talk about this hub the hub will become a modern platform for the development of academic and cultural ties and the hub will also include a fully equipped hsc university office at the central campus of delhi university so next question is also important one of the most important questions of this video question asks here is that which airport has been named as the world's best airport according to skytrax world airport award 2024 so which is that airport that has secured the top position here it is hamad international airport and it is of doha qatar that has secured the first position here which is the second position or which airport secured the second position singapore's changi airport secured the second position here Qatar uh, of Doha Qatar secured the first position here that is Hamad International Airport Changi Airport secured the second position and Seoul Incheon International Airport of South Korea it secured the third position here then if we talk about Narita International Airport that is in Tokyo Japan remember this airport has been awarded as the best airport for the best airport staff or best air staff service award was awarded to Narita International Airport right take a note of this here you can see 
If we talk about Skytrax World Airport Awards, where they were held, they were held at Passenger Terminal Expo in Frankfurt, Germany, on 17th of April. And during this only, Doha, Qatar's Hamad International Airport has been named as the world's best airport 2024 in 2024 Skytrax World Airport Awards. Take a note of this. Apart from this, you can see that 2023 Airport of the Year and 12 times previous winner Singapore's Changi Airport has secured the second position here and also winning the best airport in Asia and the world's best airport immigration service airport. Then Incheon Airport that is in Seoul, South Korea secured the third position here and also winning the world's most family friendly airport for the year 2024. Take a note of this. Apart from this, if we talk about the list here, you can see Hamad International Airport of Doha secured the first position in 2024. It was ranked second in 2023. Singapore's Changi Airport secured second position. It secured first position in 2023. Then Incheon International Airport of Seoul, South Korea secured third position, which secured fourth position in 2023. And Tokyo's Haneda International Airport of Japan secured fourth position, which secured third position in 2023. Right. Then fifth is Tokyo, uh, Tokyo Narita International Airport. F sixth is your Paris Charles Airport of France. Seventh is Dubai International Airport. Eighth is Munich Airport of Germany. Ninth is Zurich Airport of Switzerland. And tenth is your Ist Istanbul Airport of Turkey. Apart from this, if we talk about awards of Japan airports, we saw that Chok Tokyo's Haneda Airport has been declared as the world's and Asia's cleanest airport for 2024. Take a note of this. This is important. Also, it also delivers the world's best airport passengers with reduced mobility and accessible facilities. Also, it is also the best airport by passenger numbers in 2024 with over 70 million passengers. Apart from this, we saw Tokyo's Narita International Airport has won the top award for the world's best airport staff service. Japan's new Chitose International Airport has been named as the world's most improved airport of 2024. And Chubu Center International Airport that is in Nagoya, Japan has been named as the world's best regional airport for the 10th consecutive year. If we further talk about in the international uh, Indian airports here, then you can see Cape Govda International Airport. Where is this? This is in Bengaluru, Karnataka, and it has been recognized as the best regional airport in India and South Asia and has moved up to 59 from 69 position in 2023. And Cape Govda International Airport's Terminal 2 secured the second position globally as the world's best new airport terminal. And Terminal 2 has been operational since 2023 and has been garnered numerous awards right and apart from this here you can see they have award, uh, won this award that is the terminal 2 of came govda international airport has won the lead platinum certification that is the leadership in energy and environmental design platinum certification also they have won the unesco sprix versailles world's most beautiful airport award also that is came govda international airport apart from this remember if we talk about delhi's international airport they secured Delhi's International Airport that secured 36th position on the list as the best airport in India and South Asia. If we talk about Mumbai's International Airport that is in Maharashtra, it has been dropped to 95th position that was 84th in 2023. And if we talk about Hyderabad Telangana Airport, it has moved up to 61st position in 2024. Right? Moving on. Next, which is the 38th signatory to the Artemis Accord? First of all, we should know what is this Artemis Accord, right? This Artemis Accord was jointly launched by NASA, that is National Aeronautics and Space Administration and US Department of State. This Artemis Accord was launched in 2020. And what is the aim of this Artemis Accord? It is basically to enhance the bilateral and multilateral space cooperation between these signatory countries. So in order to enhance the in space cooperation, this Artemis Accord was signed by NASA and US Department of State in 2020 and there were 37 signatories but now there are 38 which is the 38 signatory is being asked to you here. So it is Sweden, right? Sweden has been recently the 38th signatory of this Artemis Accord. Take a note of this important. Then in Paris, France, we will be seeing Olympic Games. Olympic Summer Olympic Games in Nepal. Remember phone pay of Nepal and phone pay of India's fintech startup that is of Bangalore, Bengaluru, Karnataka. They have recently signed an agreement where they will be announcing the usage of UPI in Nepal and Malta. 
Malta became 119th country to join International Solar Alliance that was between India and France. Correct. So coming back, which is the 38th signatory to join the Artemis Accord? It is Sweden and this Artemis Accord is basically to enhance the cooperation in the space sector. It was launched by NASA and US Department of Space. It was launched when? It was launched in 2020. Right? Take a note of this. Now, it is the 38th. Sweden is the 38th, right? If I ask you who became the 37th country to join this Artemis Accord, it was Switzerland. It was Switzerland, right? And it was on 15th of April 2024. Switzerland became 37th country to join this Accord that is Artemis Accord, right? Take a note of this. Then apart from this, remember, in the starting of this Artemis Accord, this was formally signed on 13th of October in 2020 and there were eight founder countries there were eight founder countries who were they australia canada italy japan luxembourg uae united kingdom and united states of america correct so here you can see on 16th of april sweden officially became 38th nation to join to sign this nasa artemis accord that established practical set of guidelines for peaceful space exploration and use of outer space and which was 37th it is switzerland moving on here you can see artemis accord this was jointly launched by nasa and u.s department of state in 2020 with an aim of advancing bilateral and multilateral space cooperation between these countries and artemis accords was formally signed on 13th of october 2020 by eight countries and these are the founder countries here Next, which payment bank has partnered with NPCI to unveil NCMC debit card and prepared card? This NCMC debit card, basically remember this is an eco-friendly eco -friendly debit card and this NCMC here stands for National Common Mobility Card. Then remember this card is made up of polyvinyl chloride and this card will be working on Rupee Network, right? So which is that payment bank that has partnered with National Payments Corporation of India, NPCI, it is ATEL Payments Bank, right? And they have launched this card that will be on Rupee Network made from sustainable material that is polyvinyl chloride. And this is in line with ATEL Payment Bank's commitment to India that is of one nation, one card vision. Here, customers, they can use this card at various payment options, also both online and offline. They can also use it at transaction points such as metro, buses and parking facilities. Apart from this, these debit cards can be ordered through ATEL's Thanks app and also they will be available soon through the online and retail platforms. Correct. Phone pay we saw this is a payment platform of Nepal and they have partnered with whom? They have partnered with Phone pay. Correct. And phone pay. Remember, this is India's fintech platform that is based off Bangalore, Karnataka, and they have partnered together to enhance the usage of UPI in the state in the country of Nepal. Then if we talk about Paytm Payments Bank, their CEO and chairman has resigned from the position after the suspension of onboarding new customers. What is the name of the CEO and chairman here? Who former CEO and chairman Vijay Shekhar Sharma, who resigned from the position, right? Another interesting thing about phone pay, remember, phone pay customers, they can now make payment through UPI in Singapore. Take a note of this. This is important, right? And phone pay, they have partnered with eSeva and Han, Housing Authority of Nepal, in order to enhance the usage of UPI in Nepal. Then, here you can see. ATEL Payments Bank, they in collaboration with NPCI, National Payment Corporation of India, introduced eco-friendly NCMC, that is National Common Mobility Card, that is a debit card and a prepared card. And it was launched on 18th of April, 2024. Correct. Apart from this, if we move on, Amazon Pay, they have tied up with NPCI, that is National Payment Corporation of India, to introduce credit card services on UPI. I repeat, take a note of this. Amazon Pay, they have tied up with National Payment Corporation of India and in order to imp provide, introduce credit card services that will be available on UPI. What is UPI? Unified Payment Interface. Correct. So this report was by Financial Express and they stated that Amazon in partnership with NPCI is set to introduce credit services on UPI. Right. 
further if we talk about here amazon pay they have partnered with different financial entities for example first is your rbl bank and it is to enable upi payments on their platform they have tied up with icici bank for task fast tag recharge and introduction of the amazon pay icici co-branded credit card also on amazon application then amazon pay have tied up with approximately 8.5 million brick and mortar sellers across 350 urban and rural areas along with 10000 online merchants apart from this third amazon pay they collaborated with entities such as your xio idfc first bank karur vesai bank to offer buy now pay later services if we talk about amazon pay amazon pay where is the headquarter it is in seattle Washington DC. It was founded in 2007. If we talk about NPCA National Payment Corporation of India, who is the managing director and chief executive officer here, Dilip S. Bay. Headquarter is in Mumbai, Maharashtra and it was established in 2008. Next, Ashok Leland signed a memorandum of understanding with which bank for dealer financing. So, on 18th of April, Ashok Leland, this is a commercial vehicle maker and they have signed a memorandum of understanding with South Indian Bank. Take a note of this, right? So Ashok Leland, they signed this MOU. It was with South Indian Bank and this is basically under the bank's dealer finance program. And as a part of this partnership, South Indian Bank will provide dealer finance options to the dealers of the Ashoka Leland Limited. And this is a mutual beneficial for both manufacturers, right? And for the dealers of South Indian Bank. So MOU between them. Then if we talk about Karnataka Bank, Karnataka Bank, they have recently, this is a private sector bank and they have recently partnered with Clix Capital. Clix Capital. And this partnership was through UB Co dot Lend platform. Correct. And this co-lending digital partnership is basically to target the Indian MSMEs and help to grow employment number and also to help those MSMEs to grow. So Karnataka Bank, they partnered with Clix Capital through this UB.co Lend platform. Then for Bank of Maharashtra, remember recently, Nidhu Saxena was appointed as the managing director and chief executive officer of Bank of Maharashtra. He will be in this position for three years till 2020. Uh, from 27th of March 2024 till 2027, he will be in this position. And Nidhu Saxena, he replaced whom? He replaced A.S. Rajiv. Then if we talk about Bank of Baroda, Bank of Baroda recently predicted India's GDP growth rate to grow by between 6.75% to 6.8% for fiscal year 25. Whereas International Monetary Fund projected that India will be growing by 6.7% for the same fiscal year 25. Also Bank of Baroda, they have introduced few new four new saving accounts that is Bob Light, BOB Bro, My Family, My Bank and Baroda NRI. Right? Moving on, here you can see Ashok Leland signed an MOU with South Indian Bank for dealer financing. Next, who among the following is not in the list of the most influential people in the 2024? So recently, time, right? This is a 100 year, 101 year old global media brand. They have released the 21st edition of the annual Time 100 Most Influential People 2024 list. And this list features a total of eight Indians. And among the option, which of the following is not mentioned in this list. So among the following, if we see, so Nitin Kamath has not been listed into this list. If we talk about Alia Bhatt, Alia Bhatt, we know she's a very famous Bollywood actress and she has recently also acquired British citizenship. Then remember, she won her first national film award for best actress in 2023 for Gangubai movie. Next, next remember Sakshi, Pate, uh, Sakshi Malik. Sakshi Malik, she is one of the very famous wrestlers. Alia Bhatt is an actress, right? Sakshi Malik, very famous uh, Indian wrestler. And she is the first Indian female wrestler to win a medal in the Olympic Games. But she recently retired in December 2023. Correct. Apart from this, if we talk about Satya Nadella, who is Satya Nadella? Satya Nadella, he is the chief 
एग्जीक्यूटिव ऑफिसर ऑफ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट राइट एंड ही इज फ्रॉम ओरिजिनली फ्रॉम हैदराबाद तेलंगाना राइट टेक अ नोट ऑफ दिस एंड इन 2022 ही वाज आल्सो ऑनर्ड विद पद्मा भूषण अवार्ड दिस इज फॉर हिज कंट्रीब्यूशन इन द फील्ड ऑफ ट्रेड एंड इंडस्ट्री एंड नितिन कामत ही इज द को फाउंडर ऑफ जेरो द प्लेटफॉर्म राइट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस हू ऑल आर द पर्सन हू आर ऑनर्ड हेयर सो आलिया भट्ट देव पटेल साक्षी मलिक सत्य नडेला अजय पाल सिंह बंगा जिगर शाह आसमा खान एंड प्रियम वदा नटराजन दे वर ऑनर्ड और दे वर द टॉप और दे वर द एट इंडियंस हु वर लिस्टेड इन द टाइम्स टॉप हंड्रेड मोस्ट इन्फ्लुएंशियल पीपल फॉर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर एंड हु इज अजय पाल सिंह बंगा ही इज द हु इज ही ही इज द प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ वर्ल्ड बैंक राइट टेक अ नोट ऑफ ऑल दिस देन इफ वी टॉक अबाउट टाइम मैगजीन हु इज द चीफ एग्जीक्यूटिव ऑफिसर ऑफ टाइम मैगजीन जैसेका सिबली हेडक्वार्टर इज इन न्यूयॉर्क यूएसए एंड इट वॉज इस्टेब्लिश इन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी थ्री नेक्स्ट रिमेंबर दिस ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर लिस्ट फीचर्स आर टोटल ऑफ फिफ्टी वन वीमेन एंड मोर देन अ डजन ऑफ एंटरटेनर्स सत्य नडेला एंड पैट्रिक मोहम्स ही इज एन अमेरिकन फुटबॉल क्वार्टरबैक एंड दे बोथ आर ऑन दिस लिस्ट फॉर द थर्ड टाइम मोर देन एनी पर्सन इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर देन मोटाज एज नोट दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट राइट ही इज द यंगेस्ट person on this list he is a palestinian photojournalist right this question can definitely be asked and who is the oldest person on this list joel habener he is an american endocrinologist he is 86 years of age right moving on next is five wisden cricketers of the year 2024 this is the list of the five wisden cricketers of the year 2024 remember these cricketers they are from australia right take a note of this first of all that this wisden cricketers they are from australia this was the 2024 edition of the wisden cricketers right and recently five cricketers has been named here for their exceptional performance they are australia's michael uh, michel stark usman khwaja ash gardner and harry brook and mark wood right and harry brook and mark wood they both are of england right so they three are of australia that is usman khwaja michel stark and ash gardner they are of australia harry brook mark wood they are of england right take a note of this then then tell me who won the wisden trophy for 2023 here you can see it was won by whom it was won by Travis Head has won the 2023 Wisden Trophy. Correct. Apart from this, remember if we talk about this Wisden Cricketer of the Year, the Cricketer of the Year award established in 1889 is a cricketer's oldest individual honor, and the recipients are chosen primarily for their performance in preceding English summer, with no player eligible to win the award more than once. Correct. Moving on. Next. who has been conferred with the asi aryabhatta award what is asi asi here stands for astronautical astro nautical society of india right asi right so asi aryabhatta award who has been conferred with this asi aryabhatta award so he will be pavuluri subha rao right he is the former isro scientist and founder and chief executive officer of atl what is atl atl is your anant technology limited right that is your anant technology limited atl and he has been awarded with this asi's aryabhatta award correct take a note of this and he recall or he received this honor for his outstanding lifetime contribution for the promotion of astronautics in india right take a note of this then if we talk about avi wingerson he is the person who has been honored with the acm turing award that is also known as nobel prize in the field of computation then if we talk about michael telegrand right he was honored with abel prize abel prize that is also known as Nobel Prize in the field of mathematics and Nargis Mohammadi remember she was the Nobel Prize winner 
in the field of uh, in 2023 nobel peace prize winner right nobel peace prize winner of 2023 nargis mohammadi then here you can see pavaluri subarao here you can see him in the picture former isro scientist and founder and chief executive officer of anand technologies limited has been conferred with the prestigious aryabhatta award by the asi that is astronautical society of india he was also presented with the distinguished fellow title by astronautical society of india right take a note of this apart from this remember this award is named as in the honor of the 5th century indian astronomer and mathematician aryabhatta and even india's first satellite is named after aryabhatta sir that was launched in 1975 apart from this if we talk about here aryabhatta award you can see instituted by asi and it has been named in the honor of the 5th century indian astronomer and mathematician aryabhatta also india's first satellite named after aryabhatta launched in 1975 correct apart from this remember if we talk about pavoluri subarao he was the former isro scientist he left isro in 1991 and he founded anand technologies limited in 1992 that is based in hyderabad telangana and atl has satellite manufacturing facilities in bengaluru karnataka moving on next drdo conducted successful flight test of indigenous technology cruise missile of the coast of odisha i repeat it is drdo that has recently conducted the flight test of itcm that is indigenous technology cruise missile it was from itr that is integrated test range of the coast of chandipur in odisha right take a note of this then here you can see if we further talk about ictm this is equipped with advanced avionics and software to ensure better performance and this is developed by drdo right take a note of this important it is developed by whom it is developed by drdo and this flight of the missile was monitored from sukhoi 30 mark 1 aircraft of the indian air force this question can be asked that this indigenous technology cruise missile was tested in itr chandipur of the coast of odisha using which aircraft it is sukhoi 30 mark 1 aircraft next important question which organization built hala point that is the world's largest neuromorphic system to enable the sustainable ai that is artificial intelligence so it is intel right intel an american technology company that manufactured semiconductor computer circuits they have built the world's largest neuromorphic system code named hala point that is to enable more sustainable artificial intelligence right take a note of this if we talk about cognition labs they have developed devin software that is an ai software developer if we talk about open ai who is the chief executive officer here sam altman and they have launched chat gpt if we talk about core over dot ai they have launched bharat gpt right so coming back intel is the organization that has built hala point that is the world's largest neuromorphic system that will enable to build sustainable artificial intelligence and the main aim of this hala point what is it it is supporting research for the future brain inspired artificial intelligence that will be sustainable right and this remember hala point is basically intel's first generation large scale research system and it is expected that with the architecture improvement the 10 times more neuron capacity can be achieved here right so just remember this hala point was built by intel corporation here you can see intel corporation an american technology company that manufactures semiconductor computer chips has built the world's largest neuromorphic system code named hala point to enable more sustainable artificial intelligence moving on next is former world number 1 badminton player kento momato has announced retirement recently former world number 1 badminton player kento momato he is of japan has announced the he would retire from badminton after featuring in 2024 thomas and uber cup for japan he is 29 years of age and he is ranked 52nd in the badminton world federation world ranking as of april 18th of april 2024 right and remember if we talk about this thomas cup and uber cup these are set to be held in chengdu china 
right and they will be from 27th of april to 5th of may in 2024 next pm narendra modi was presented with a book that was titled sabke ram right that is this book was presented to him by panch janya editor hitesh shankar and managing director of bharat prakashan arun goel presented this book to pm narendra modi and this narrates the history of ayodhya and provides details about the lord ram's birthplace and the date of birth this book can be read in both and even listened to in hindi as well as english next next is your world liver day this day is observed on 19th of april and it is to raise awareness about the importance of liver health and to prevent and manage liver disease correct and this world liver day remember the theme for this world liver day is be vigilant get regular liver checkups and prevent fatty liver disease this is the theme of world liver day observed on 19th of april correct take a note of this then tell me which is the largest organ of our body it is skin is considered to be the largest organ in human body and if we talk about second largest organ it is liver right second largest is liver and it is also liver has the capacity to regenerate itself correct so friends, these were your important current affairs. Now let's move to some important one-liners. These are very much important and this is the section most sought by students who are watching this video. So let's start. Three new archaeological sites has been discovered in Telangana. Russia, India, they have signed an agreement to operate large research hub in New Delhi. Skytrax World Airport report was released and Hamad, Hamad International Airport of Doha, Qatar secured the first position and it has been named as the world's best airport. Sweden it became the 30th signatory to the Artemis Accord and which was 37th it was Switzerland. Next, ATEL Payment Bank has unveiled NCMC debit card. This is a sustainable NCMC debit and prepaid card in collaboration with National Payment Corporation of India. Amazon Pay they have tied up with NPCI to introduce credit card services on UPI. Ashok Leland they have signed an MOU with South Indian Bank for dealer financing. 8 Indian origin featured in the annual time 100 most influential people in the world 2024 list. Michelle Stark and Usman Khwaja, Harry Brooks, they are among the 5 wisdom cricketers of the year 2024. Next, Anand Technologies founder Pavaluri Subarao has been conferred with the ASI's Aryabhatta award. DRDO has conducted successful flight test of indigenous technology cruise missile off the coast of Odisha and this was tested using Sukhoi 30 Mark 1 fighter jet. Then Intel has built Hala Point, that is the world's largest neuromorphic system to enable sustainable artificial intelligence. Former world number one badminton player Kento Momota has announced retirement. PM Narendra Modi was presented with a book that was titled Sabke Ram and World Liver Day. And liver, that is the second largest organ of our body. This World Liver Day is observed on 19th of April. So friends, these were your important current affairs for the day. If you find the session interesting, all you have to do is like the button and comment below and let us know what are your views for the same. Doing this will motivate me to make better content for you in the long run. Now let's move to some revision part that will be beneficial for your learning. Next is which international organization has re-elected Jagjit Pawadia as the member for the third term. Each term is for five years. Right. And first it was from 2015 to 2020, then 2020 to 2025. Correct. And remember this. Right. Now she has been again elected as the term for 2025 till 2029. Take a note of this. Right, that is 2015 to 2020, 2021 to 2025, then 2025 to 2029. This will be the third term. She is whom? Jagjit Pavadia and of which board? That is International Narcotics Control Board of INCB. Right. So India's Jagjit Pavadia has been re-elected and she previously served first term from 2015 to 20, second term from 2021 to 2025 and third term is from 2025 to 2029. Next, who has been recently appointed as the chair of US India Tax Forum of the US India Strategic Partnership Forum? So, Tarun Bajaj. Right? 
तरुण बजाज आर फॉर्मर रिवेन्यू एंड इकोनॉमिक अफेयर सेक्रेटरी राइट है वॉज अपॉइंटेड एज द चेयर ऑफ द यू एस इंडिया टैक्स फॉरम ऑफ द यू एस इंडिया स्ट्रेटेजिक पार्टनरशिप फॉरम ही इज ऑल्सो सर्विंग एज द इंडिपेंडेंट डायरेक्टर ऑन द बोर्ड ऑफ हिंदुस्तान यूनिलीवर लिमिटेड सिंस दिसंबर ट्वेंटी नेक्स्ट नेम इंडिया फर्स्ट प्राइवेट सेक्टर बिल्ट सब मीटर रेजोल्यूशन अर्थ ऑब्जर्वेशन सेटेलाइट दैट हैज बिन रिसेंटली लॉन्च बाय टाटा एडवांस सिस्टम्स लिमिटेड इट इज टी सेट वन ए राइट दिस इज द इंडिया फर्स्ट प्राइवेट सेक्टर बिल्ट सब मीटर रेजोल्यूशन अर्थ ऑब्जर्वेशन सेटेलाइट दैट हैज बिन लॉन्च बाय टाटा एडवांस सिस्टम्स लिमिटेड Correct, and it was one of the eleven satellites that was launched, or that was a part of Bandwagon One, launched by SpaceX using their Falcon Nine mission. Next, next is in April, British physicist and Nobel Prize awardee Peter Higgs passed away. In which year did he receive the Nobel Prize in the physics? So he received Peter Higgs received Nobel Prize in physics in the year two thousand thirteen. Correct. Take a note of this. Apart from this, he has also won the world's oldest scientific prize, that is, Royal Society's Copley Medal. Right, and this was for his works on the God particle. Next, the El Nino is a climate pattern that describes the unusual warning. of surface waters in dash so el nino this is a climate pattern that describes the unusual warming of the surface waters in the pacific ocean right the unusual warming in the pacific ocean this is known as el nino el nino event occurs irregularly at 2 to 7 years interval and el nino is not a regular cycle or predictable in the sense that ocean tides are next who has been recently recommended for the post of the chairman and managing director in sidb by financial service institutions bureau that is fsib so manoj mittal right has been recommended for the post of chairman and managing director in sidb by financial services institutions bureau he is currently serving as the md and ceo of ifci limited and he will replace shiva subramanyam raman who will be serving as the chairman and managing director who has been serving as the cmd of sidb since 2021 next which company has recently received the approval from securities and exchange board of india for a change of control in reliance wealth management limited it is asia enterprises right has received the approval from sebi for a change of control in reliance wealth management limited next In April, Dash became the first private sector lender to open a branch in Kavarati Island of Lakshadweep. It is HDFC Bank, right? It became the first private sector lender to operate a branch in Kavarati Island of Lakshadweep, right? This bank seeks to serve customers whenever wherever they are and looks forward to serving the financial needs of individuals, families, and businesses in Lakshadweep. Next, which space company has recently backed the first order from ISRO for the supply of its cutting-edge quadcopter drones? It is Garuda Aerospace, right? Garuda Aerospace recently backed the first order from ISRO, and it is for the supply of their cutting-edge quadcopter drones. Quadcopter drones, right? Take a note of this. these quadcopter drones they are equipped with machine learning artificial intelligence right and so on so it is garuda aerospace next name the company that has recently launched the latest edition of the girl empowerment mission that is gem so which is that company it is ntpc limited right they have launched the latest edition of gem that is girl empowerment mission This is a corporate social responsibility initiative of NTPC that is National Thermal Power Corporation and this new initiative or the latest edition of GEM this will add around 3000 underprivileged children at 42 locations of NTPC and with this mission it is expected that the benefit will be expanding to a total of 10000 girls 
नेक्स्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू मूडीज एनालिटिक्स रिपोर्ट ए पी एस सी आउटलुक लिसनिंग थ्रू द नॉइस रिलीज इन अप्रैल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री इंडिया जी डी पी इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू डिक्रीज टू डैश इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर फ्रॉम सेवन पॉइंट सेवन परसेंट ग्रोथ रिकॉर्डेड इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री सो इट इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू डिक्रीज टू सिक्स पॉइंट वन परसेंट ग्रोथ इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर दिस इज अकॉर्डिंग टू द मूडीज रिपोर्ट दैट इज ए पी एस सी right also the report suggested in the asia pacific region will show a growth of 3.8% in 2024 even it is stated that in india the cpi data that is the inflation data will be close to 5% and the target of rbi is 2 to 6% that means according to rbi the inflation should be between 2 to 6% next according to the global trade outlook and statistics of april 2024 report released by world trade organization in april the global merchandise trade volume is projected to grow by how much in 2024 so the global merchandise trade volume is projected to grow by 2.6% in 2024 correct and 3.3% in 2025 correct as the demand for the traded goods are rebounding after the contraction in 2023 and india clocked if we talk about india india clocked 451 billion dollars of goods exported in fy23 and 394.99 in april to feb in fy24 next as per the asian development outlook of april 24 released by the asian development bank india's gdp growth forecast for fy24 raised to dash percent from 6.7% so it has been raised to 7% that was earlier 6.7% as per the asian development bank's gdp growth forecast next National Investment and Infrastructure Fund Limited invested dash amount in IBUS Network and Infrastructure Private Limited to support the growth of digital infrastructure in India. So NIIF that is National Investment and Infrastructure Fund Limited invested 200 million dollar in IBUS Network and Infrastructure Private Limited to support the growth of digital infrastructure in India. Here NIIF will hold a significant majority stake in IBUS after the completion of the transaction and the investment is in line with India's Digital India mission that was made through NIIF's master fund. Next, which company has recently partnered with e-seva and hotel association of Nepal Pokhara to promote digital payments through UPI on Nepal payment processor phone pay network. So which is it? it is phone pay correct they have recently partnered with e seva e seva and h a n that is hotel association of nepal in pokhara and it is to promote the usage of upi in nepal and the nepal here will be in the nepal the network they will be using is phone pay network correct f o n e p a y and here in india from uh, from indian company that is phone pay phone pay this is a fintech company that is based out of bengaluru karnataka correct and they have partnered with e seva and han that is hotel association of nepal and it is to increase the usage of upi they are using their nepal's payment processor phone pay network next is our homework section first what is the theme of the world liver day we have recently discussed second recently who has been selected for the malcolm adishesh award 2023 next lakshmana tirtha river recently seen in news is the tributary of which river fourth what is gps spoofing recently seen in news and which country did this gps spoofing recently tell me it was a war between two countries that is going on recently and among them one of that country has done this gps spoofing fifth dragonfly rotorcraft mission recently seen is news is associated with which space organization so dragonfly uh, dragonfly rotorcraft mission this is of which space organization so these are your five homework question friends and i need to see maximum participation from all the students watching this video
that's all for the day friends i hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the youtube channel as well as apart from youtube channel you can go and follow us at affairs cloud telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 7677333862 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official also students you can use code vikas10 that will give you extra 10 percent discount on the courses that you will purchase